Hey everyone sorry I haven't been online. Took a break from PvPing and even the previous 1v1 tournament. A new character JIAXU recently came out and I thought this would be good way to make my return. I've been testing him out for the past two days and I have to admit, I'm pleasantly surprised by his skill set. I didn't get to try him out unlike everyone else during the tournament so this is my first time trying him out. In this video we'll discuss the following, 1 what his skills do and hidden mechanics, 2 hidden effects that are not mentioned in his skills, 3 strong lieutenants to pair up with him, 4 how strong is he during the juge meta, is he the juge killer we all hoped for, 5 how would I place him in the tier list that I created. Also, if you haven't watched how I tier officers, take a look at this video here. He'll be posting some gameplay videos very soon with him. I guarantee you'll learn at least one thing in this video. And if you don't, you'd be surprised. Let me know if you have any additional questions after watching this video. Lastly, please like, comment and subscribe. Okay, let's get right into his skills and what they do. The first skill is called Toxic Etch. This is his passive skill. Essentially, it works such that when you attack someone with your other three active skills, one stack of poison is applied. A max of five stacks are allowed. However, if you keep poisoning him when he has five stacks, it refreshes the duration. Every three seconds, one stack is reduced. When the enemy is poisoned, and depending on the stack, it does a great amount of damage over time. It also stacks vulnerability which further increases any damage done to the enemy. Every stack of poison up to 10 times reduces the second skill shadow ghost cooldown. Lastly, and very important, when the poison stacks reach 5, you heal for 10% and this triggers once every 3 seconds. The heals are great and it actually feels like you actually regain HP. Okay, that's just his passive by the way. Now his second skill which in my opinion is not broken but very strong. Shadow Ghost simply just makes you invisible from the enemy. This skill is great for initiating combos and also running away and waiting for cooldowns. There's two big things to note here however. One when you get close to the enemy when you're invisible, the enemy has a poison symbol above his head. This tells the enemy you're close. When you are extremely close, the poison symbol starts blinking fast. The enemy now knows you are very close. The enemy can use AoE skills such as Joe use Fireball, Juju's Fireball, Jin Jis Ice Crystal and so forth. If these skills hit you, your stealth is gone and they can see you and target you. So make sure you initiate your combo fast or keep your distance. You can use Flash while stealthed and you will not remove your stealth this way. However, if you use any other skill, you become visible but you have the element of surprise on them. Let's move on to the third skill which is called Viper Call. This skill is a simply dash forward that traps enemies. The one difference between this trap and High's net trap is that if the enemy is immune to CCs. Like during Guo's, Raven's or Juju's rock form, they don't actually get trapped or poisoned. Upon successful contact, a 2.5 second trap is initiated. Typically, this is your first skill to initiate the combo. Also, don't forget upon successful contact, you also poison the enemy for each time it hits them. The fourth skill is your main damage skill which synergizes with your passive. The skill is Frenzy Viper. Essentially, it just summons a viper wherever you choose and the poison emits venom that stacks poison to the enemy. When you trap the enemy, you typically use this skill immediately after to max the poison. And constantly do damage over type while healing yourself. The fifth skill is the ultimate skill. Upon using it, you turn into a massive viper that leaks a venomous trail all around you wherever you walk. Of course, you'd want to be near the enemy when you do, because 1 it does massive damage and 2 it poisons the enemy to further increase the damage over time. Lastly, at the end of the 5 second mark of the skill, it does one final attack which does massive damage. 
You are also immune to CCs and receive slightly reduced damage during this time. Now, it's time for a hidden mechanic that is not mentioned in the descriptions anywhere maybe a translation error or just a bug. Not sure. Okay, so when the enemy has 5 stacks of poison, you'll notice this eye icon above his head. This means he is blinded. When an enemy is blinded, every attack they do misses you. This is extremely strong and meta. You may remember earlier from his passive, that one stack of poison is reduced every 3 seconds. So when he has for stacks, he is no longer blind. However, you can keep poisoning him with the attack of any skill making the enemy permanently blind. Okay, not permanently but for a long time if they don't run away. Okay, now let's quickly discuss a few potentially strong lieutenants you can pair him up with. My personal favorite is XUSHU. His ultimate makes it so the enemy cannot switch, flash, or use any skill and is heavily slowed. Even though he is at 16, he works extremely well with gear skills and does massive damage. Some other honorable mentions are Jang Fei, Jin Ji, SSX, Jang Jao, and Sun Jian. Okay, how strong is he during the Juge meta? Is he the Juge killer we all hoped for? My opinion is solely based on two days of playing so it may change. If it does, you'll see a comment down below. My opinion is that JIAXU is the number one strongest at 20 in the game right now. I think he is even better than Guo because of his stealth skill. He does massive damage to Juge if you can get all of you skills to land. I would easily place him in the S tier category. If you have any questions and if you like this video, please like subscribe and comment down below.